Okay, so ramping this training up another step. We uh, we attached the uh, true clot uh, tourniquet, uh, the arm, the arm injury, which uh, basically we was strapped in onto Todd's arm. And uh, in here, there's a uh, like a soft, yeah, small soft tubing. A soft tubing that once the tourniquet is actually applied, it, it will it will it will stop the blood flow. So again, this is one of those scenarios where we could we could be teaching a civilian. We're in the the fancy RV. This is one of our RVs that we use for um, for training. Um, maybe he was uh, chopping some wood. He's out camping, chopping some wood. Ends up somehow severing his uh, severing his artery. Or we could also have this as a first responder call. The firefighters or the paramedics show up, and the blood the blood's going. So in this instance, we're just going to say he's uh, he's a civilian. He's cut his own he's cut his own limb. He's made it back to his RV. He's managed to access his first aid kit, and from here he's going to. Let me get this thing going first. So it's got a good flow, good. Start cinching it down. Remember, we want to go high and tight, right? So again, it looks like a lot of blood, but we saw how much that really would be on the ground. So maybe not even half a liter yet. So he's still got lots of time. And this is slippery, I can tell you right now. Tightens it down, and you can see the blood starting to cease. There we go. And you could probably, probably go tighter if you needed to, but uh, you know, it's again training purposes, right? Like you can, you, you can since this pretty tight. It's got padded. a good pattern, right? So right there, I'm, I still have the pressure going, and, and he's totally stopped the arterial spread. And that's all we got left. Just a little bit of trickle. So again. Training props, you can you can spend some extra money, get really good training props. And these things are obviously, you can use them over and over again. Uh, they're great, you can put them in any sim you want. Put them in car accidents, uh, sims, you can do active shooter stuff. Um, you can do civilian courses. Yeah, pretty much, uh, sky's the limit. Huh, anything to add? No, I think, uh, yeah, you, you nailed it. Like I said, sky's the limit, right? Like when you're thinking training, think outside the box. Think what you can make it fun and realistic, right? Um, once people get uh, comfortable with doing more scenarios, step up your game even more, especially if you're working with law enforcement or other agencies um, to, to do that combined training we talk about. That's where you can really have fun.